In this tutorial today, we are going to show you how to use the template file cabinet in Google Sites and how to set things up. So first of all, let's uh, get started by adding a page. So I asked for a new page and I'm going to call this uh, student handouts. And I'm going to choose web page file cabinet and hit create. Now the first thing I want to do is to make sure that uh, it is in the sidebar. So I'm going to go over to more and take a look at page settings and I will click on show this page in the sidebar and also I'm going to get rid of allow commands and show links to sub pages. And with that now we do have student handouts and as you can see we have the template here called file cabinet. So now how does this work? Well let's first of all start with the first thing how do I add a file? So I can add any file into here that I have on my computer uh, it could be a presentation, a PowerPoint, um, a Word document, a spreadsheet, an Excel document. It could be an audio file or a movie file uh, or a picture. So you have all kinds of choices, any file that you need. So we're going to hit and choose it. I can go to my desktop or my documents. Uh, I'm going to use something from my desktop right now, which is just a picture. I'm going to upload it. And there it is now available for students to use. They can either view it or they could actually download it and use it in something that they are creating. I'm going to try to add another file now. I'm going to just pick on something else. Here's a PDF. Now you can see I have two things here that are both viewable and downloadable, but the more I add, how do I organize this? Well, that's where over here the file folder is set up. So I'm going to go to move to and I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to say this is for language arts. There I have my folder. And so to move these into it, I'm going to click on the boxes and go move to language arts and there they are now in the folder now to show you what this looks like i have another file cabinet page i've already done that has lots of things in it and as you can see i have a number of things in different folders organized so then you could tell the students okay i want you to go to the decimal folder and look at such and such. Now I also have some links. We've dealt with files. Now what about how do I add links for students out on the web, things I want them to go see? Well, let's go back to student handouts. And I'm going to grab just any old link right now that I have. and click add link. I'm going to paste that link into there. I'm going to give it a name. Uh, we're just going to make this up that it's for math. I could give it a description. Hit add. And there I have the link. The description would be in this area. And so now the students could click on this and it would take them to that web page that you wanted them to see. Now, the next thing though is, what if you've created a document in your Google Apps? Uh, whether, let's go into our drive. Say you have some type of document, whether it's a document or a presentation or a spreadsheet or a form or a drawing, and you have and you want them to see it. Well, there are two possibilities here. 
if you want them to be able to download it, then you would actually open the document and download it to your desktop and then upload it like we just did those other documents. But if you want them just to see it, then what you would do, remember all of these things are out on the web, so therefore everything here has a web address. So I'm going to open it up. This is called tryout, something I made earlier. It says hi. And I'm going to click on here to get the web address. And now I'm going to go back to my file cabinet and I'm going to add this link. Enter the web address and uh, let's see, we're going to call this um, tryout because that's what was the name of it. And I'm going to say something to the students, use this for a project. Hit add. And as you can see there, it tells them what I've added there, it tells them about what it is. And now, and I want to go back since I already have it open, just so to show my point, that if the students click on this, There it is, the exact same document. It takes it, them right to it so they can view it. So links, you can only view, but if you add files from the computer, you they could view them or download them and use them. So these are the possibilities of adding files or links to file cabinet. Another great thing to do is to have the students subscribe to changes. So when they subscribe to changes on file cabinet, Anytime there's a new change here, an email will be sent to them saying that something has been changed on this page so they can check it out. And this can be set up so that students can also upload things and uh, be part of the projects and all and add material. So this is what File Cabinet is all about and how to make one and add to it. This ends this tutorial.